Great to be here. Yeah, uh, yeah. My name's Uriah, and it's like a, it's a unique name. So anytime someone hears it, they always want to know more about it or make some kind of connotation to it as if I've never heard it before. So they go, Uriah, like Uriah Heep? Yeah, my parents say me after an 80s hair band. <laughs> or more often than not, they'll go Uriah, like in the Bible. Then all of a sudden, I'm having an impromptu conversation about religion that should be about small talk. And it turns out the name Uriah is in every single religion. So what I've learned is I can use humor as a means to escape a conversation. Because to me, a conversation with a stranger is like a hostage situation. <laughs> the entire time, I'm just playing my escape. And when I finally escape, I feel like a free man again. So I go, Uriah, yeah, I'm a white cis male. So if I was ever knighted in the 7th century, my name would have been Soraya Sis. <laughs> <laughs> and nothing scares someone faster than the word Soraya Sis. <laughs> but the thing is, is humor can only get me so far in life. I can't go on a date and just tell jokes the whole time. Hey, I'm Uriah, I'm a comedian. I do a lot of wordplay with my jokes. My wordplay is like my wordplay, hilarious. <laughs> But there's no like how-to video, there's no book I can read of how many dates that go on till I tell the date that I only exist right now because in the 80s and 90s, my parents were in a doomsday cult and the leader of that cult told them to get together because they're twin flames, the cult version of soulmates, get together, have three kids and name one of them Uriah. Shit. <laughs> That's what my date said. <laughs> Check, please. Because <laughs> then the thing is, if she's too interested in cults, that's a red flag. <laughs> but if I reject it, I mean reject it from something I know say over. I wasn't up in heaven like, give me the cults. <laughs> I want to be the weird kid. And did I just say cults, plural? Yes, because it wasn't one cult, it wasn't two cults, it was three different cults. Yeah. Wow. My life was the Goldilocks and the three bears of cults. <laughs> but instead of a fairy tale, it's more like a demonic tale that half the people on Earth are actually aliens and demons fighting the war against the Ascended Masters. What's an Ascended Master, you ask? Jesus, Buddha, Christopher Columbus. <laughs> and the leader of this cult was Elizabeth Clare Prophet. Come on, right there. Three names? Yeah. I have three names, but I use three names. Why? Because I respect people. <laughs> and this was called the Church Universal and Triumphant. It was a Christian fundamentalist and New Age cult. What that means, it just steals from a bunch of different religions, like a smash and grab, taking anything of value. Hey, let's take some Eastern spirituality, patriotism, ooh, Buddhism. They were the Long Island iced tea of cults. Because <laughs> if you put everything together, you can barely taste the homophobia. <laughs> <laughs> so you know how if you were a kid and you would think there's a monster in the closet and then your parents would reassure you there's no monster in the closet? My parents would tell me there is a monster in the closet. And that's because you 